This morning, New Orleans' message is loud and clear. Mardi Gras is back and better than ever. There's nothing like being in New Orleans, and there's nothing like being in New Orleans during Mardi Gras. A whirlwind month of carnival season celebrations leading up to today's Fat Tuesday festivities, with hundreds of thousands of people expected to fill the streets of New Orleans, a triumphant return to post-pandemic crowds. It does feel like it's back, and... People are having so much fun. Locals celebrating time-honored traditions. We cook, we have gumbo, we have jambalaya, we have pastalaya, and everybody shares. And everybody looks out for everybody. Alongside tourists experiencing their first Mardi Gras. I'm 84 years old. It's my very first ever Mardi Gras. I like that music and I like that energy. So I'm excited. It's all expected to boost the New Orleans economy by $900 million, a staggering 300% growth for the Mardi Gras season since 2009. We know that the hotels were virtually sold out this past weekend. We're hearing from our restaurants that they've been absolutely packed. We know at one point the French Quarter had to close to vehicle traffic because there were so many people. On Monday night, parades like the crew of Orpheus kicking off with Harry Connick Jr. on hand, a procession of colorful floats, music, and of course, lots of beads. Neil Patrick Harris serving as this year's celebrity monarch. A role once held by former New Orleans residents, our own Hoda Kotb. As big as this year's Mardi Gras promises to be, the city is gearing up for an even busier 2025 when it's set to host the Super Bowl just weeks before Mardi Gras. We'd like to say that New Orleans is built to host. We know how to do Mardi Gras. It's also what we believe makes us a great city for the Super Bowl. A city trumpeting its culture and sense of community like only the Big Easy can. It's kind of like the one time in the year where everybody, no matter where they're from, what part of New Orleans, they're all coming together having a great time. And you know what's so cool, Sam, about Mardi Gras? It's like it's it's a family thing. You think it's like a drunky monkey, yeah. everyone's crazy. It's actually a real family really? affair, which I love so much. So you're at the beginning of the parade. So what's happening where you are? I'm so happy you used that word, Hoda, because you talk to organizers here and they say this is about families first oh. and foremost. When they go down St. Charles Street later today, you're going to be seeing all these families lined up. It starts at 1030 in the morning. We're talking about the Rex Parade now. It's about four hours long, five miles right down St. Charles, which has these majestic oak trees and mansions and the oldest street car in America. And of course, all the floats that we were talking about, Hoda and Savannah. And what's so interesting about this, you have six iconic floats but 20 others that are changed every single year to reflect narratives and mythologies and parts of the city's history. This right here is my personal favorite, the Cuisine Creole. And why is that my favorite? Of course, because you have crab and flounder, but gumbo on the other side of this as well. They are meant to be enlightening and enriching and to really make people feel good about New Orleans history. That is what this is all about. And the action all starts in just a matter of hours. Wow. You know what? Guys. You got it. Everyone's got to go to Mardi Gras. I'm going to invite you to come to Mardi Gras. Okay. <laughs> because Savannah hasn't been there. She's never been. Never been. Al's been. Uh, but we we all got to go. We'll we okay. Got a whole we'll field thing. Trip. It's very cool. All right, Sam. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com/allday or click the link right here.